I just put us live with, um, I just had to put us live with just YouTube. This is, uh, and Zoom. This was insane. I'm sorry. I just do not have time for this craziness. So I just put us live and now I've got to find where we are live. Shut down this silly stream labs here because you're just a jerk. You're being a jerk tonight, Streamlabs, and we don't like you very much. And now I've just got to go and put the description and everything in here because, um, whatchamacall, doesn't save anything, so hang on. Let me just make sure that our age and everything is set because I don't know. Well, that's... Got to be taken care of. Hold on a sec. Just hang on. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't go out again. I, it's just something with the stupid stream lamps that sometimes, just sometimes it wants to go crazy. Okay. All right, we should be good now. Okay. Now, all right, let me see if I can now go back to our stream. Our stream is going to be on a, an extreme delay for me because Zoom is completely delayed from what I see. Okay, there we go. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, we're good. We're just going to stay here like this in Zoom. And I know you're like, oh, I don't see any difference. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a big difference um, when we do it like this, but whatever. I think this is the sixth time, obviously, but, you know, we'll see. Is it 311? Is it 311? So, guys, do I paint the Mod Podge onto the box? No, this is it. Please make sure that you... Um, Make sure you've taken, if it's a two ply or a three ply napkin, you, when you take those plies away, your napkin should be paper thin. And then it, it's easy to paint it without, you just put it on and paint it right on top. You don't have to put anything underneath and just, you'll find, you know, you, you might get, I don't know if your box is curved or whatever, but you know, take it easy because it's going to be a little, could be a little nerve wracking the first time you're doing it. You could think it's wrong, but just make sure you have just one ply and then you start like in the center and just like feather it out slowly, but with enough Mod Podge, make sure it's not too thick. Okay. And just gentle, gentle strokes going out, you know, towards the edges. Yeah, Lisa, this should be fine because I'm in Zoom now. I had to stop Streamlabs, but it's also not as easy for me to share stuff um, on top of the napkin. It's a square wooden box. Okay. Yeah, no, just lay it down on your box where you want it and start in the center and, and feather it out slowly. You've got a cough that you've had for a month now. Oh boy, Mandy. I'm not super paranoid, but if the virus becomes Chuckabin, I'm pulling my kid out of school. His life isn't worth leaving the house for school. Okay. The other thing is um, they said, thankfully, that children under the age of nine have not even had this. And it may be that they haven't had it 
or it doesn't manifest itself into very severe symptoms. Okay, so that's a good thing. And uh, a person with normal health, good health, um, fairly good health, you know, will survive if they get this. It's not a death sentence. It's not like Ebola. Okay, see it, please understand that. And you have to live your life. Okay, um, if you have to go to the doctor for certain things, you should go to the doctor for certain things. If you're under the care of a physician for high blood pressure and you have an appointment, you should get to that appointment. Okay, if you're going into the hospital to get treatments for any kind of a disease or checkups to make sure that you're okay, you should go and do that. You talk to your doctor, okay? If you, you know what, that's the better thing. Call your doctor and say, do you think I shouldn't come in for my appointment and tell them before you listen to someone on YouTube telling you not to go to the doctor. That's what I think you should do. That's, that's the thing. Okay. Call your doctor. You know, if you're, if you're, if you feel scared or whatever, or you think you shouldn't go in, call your doctor and ask them. You were just sick with a cold and you weren't scared. What about the flu? People are so nonchalant about the flu. Absolutely, my crazy life. Talk with your doctor, truly. If you have an appointment at the doctor for whatever it is, even if it's for your physical, whatever it is, ask them, should I delay my physical? Should I delay my blood work? Should I delay this? Should I delay that? Okay if you're worried about it and ask your physician, but don't take the advice of someone on YouTube telling you not to go to the doctor. Absolutely, Lonnie. People need to be careful if you're really old or with wee babies, but you still, I mean, People are living their lives. And I mean, I just don't understand the thing about taking the money out of the bank. It, it, people are taking like this and making it like a nuclear fallout or something. I don't know what. I think some people are getting like a sick thrill out of it. I'm not, I'm serious. Sixteen that died from the flu. You know, just acting like the world is going to close down. And the thing I don't understand, if they're, if they're going, let's just say they send everybody home to work and whatever, everybody work from home, which is fine. And those of us that work from home, we're all set. We do it anyway. That doesn't mean you're no longer going to be able to pay for things through, you know, whatever um, bill play or whatever you have set up, you know, like for your electric company payments or whatever. It doesn't make sense. What did they think that's all going to close down? That the, the internet is going to close down? That what? And what are you gonna do with this cash? They make it sound like you're bordering with the Native Americans again. I, I, I just, I can't even understand what is being told to people. To change their behavior, take their money out of banks, sell stocks. Yeah, Nufi, it's, it's scary. It really is. It's like they think the whole banking is going to collapse or something. 
like like really like the world is going to end go get some cash well what are you going to do with that cash if you if you quarantined in your house like they're saying we're going to be who who are they the people are coming to the house that they're paying where they're saying that you're not going to be going out of the house what the freak are they doing with the cash There are really stupid people everywhere who believe this rubbish really embarrassing. I have chat, but no video, just frozen. Am I really frozen? Am I frozen, guys? Am I frozen? Can someone tell me? You just froze? Karen McCann, am I frozen? You're taking twelve ninety eight out of the bank in the morning. Am I frozen, Sharon? Can someone answer me? Because people are saying I'm frozen. No, I'm not frozen. Okay, good. People are saying I'm frozen. Okay, good. All right, now everybody's saying no. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I mean, Jimmy and I were just laughing our heads off over this because I'm just like, what in the world? It didn't make any sense. You know, if anything, we'll be doing more online transactions, especially if we're working from home. We'll be paying everything from home. I normally do anyway. Why is that going to suddenly change? You know, and, and what's going to happen? You know, like, I, I don't, it's just, it's crazy. And then, the water and all of this stuff, it's, I don't know. Like our well pumps aren't going to work anymore. You know, we're gonna have no electricity. What, 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 is, what is going on here? <laughs> Your chat is very slow. Well, I'm sorry that it's very slow. I don't know why. I am anemic, so I need to wear a mask if I go into large places or go by a lobby. I see T Prime. I agree not to panic. So what would one hypothetically do if you had a child in school and another had Corona? Would you send your child? I don't know, Ivy, my kids are both in school. You know, my young kids are both in school. My older kids all work, you know, um, they have businesses and they have careers, okay, where they go out to work every day and they work in the public. You know, I, I don't know what, you know, they're, they're going with their, the windmills. What do you mean the windmills do? Which windmills? The uh, wind turbines? Real gold <laughs> and silver and months and months have saved up antibiotics, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I guess we're not, like there, we're gonna be in isolation but there's gonna be people coming to the house that we can barter with. So it's good to have that cash and the gold and the silver. Reminds me of the Twilight Zone episode where those guys stole all that gold from the bank and then they had those chambers that would um, make them sleep for, well, how many years was it? Like a million years or something? What was it? Some crazy number. And then when they came out, gold wasn't worth anything because they found out how to manufacture it or something. And they were, they were all dying and fighting over their water and all, trying to offer gold to people. And people were laughing at them. Like, you think gold is worth anything? Gold is not worth anything anymore. Poor saps. Yeah, so many things relate. So many things, right? Oh my gosh. I told you the other day that it, that guy with the bomb shelter it related back to Twilight Zone. And then there was another Twilight Zone it related back to, it was two. I don't remember what the other one was. And now here's, here's the other one with the gold bars.
well, no, no, that not, no, Lisa, this one, there were people around, but they laughed at them. They, they go, what do they have? Oh, they have these gold bars. Oh my gosh, these gold bars and gold is not worth anything anymore because they found out how to manufacture it. Stupid is, stupid does. Telling people to buy gallons and gallons of water. But look at someone like me, right? That I have a well, okay? I have a well that's through 650 feet of rock. Is suddenly my well, we're gonna, you know, like, See, they're, they're, they're taking every case scenario. They're not only taking the illness aspect of it, but they're taking that now everything is going to shut down. We're not going to have electricity. We're not going to have, you know, heat. So we're not going to have electricity. We're not going to have heat. We're not going to have air conditioning. We're not going to have all of this stuff. And what are we going to do? We're buying all of this food right? If we don't have electricity, folks, how are we going to keep the food fresh that we have in the freezer? Why don't they tell us that we're supposed to be stocking up on dry ice? I mean, if you live in a climate like this and it's still cold, you could build an igloo in the back and keep your food in there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like they're bringing everything in. They really think it's the end of the world. You're bringing... You know, and I was walking by the lake today. I was so upset that the video was because I was saying, there's water, water here everywhere, okay? What is going to happen, do they think? A nuclear fallout as well? And that's going to poison all the water supplies? What is going to happen that they really, it's such fear mongering. I, I don't understand either, Julie. It's Y2K all over again. Idiots drove us nuts with the first one. Hobby needs a different profession. They are panicking. Absolutely. Your dad's a chef at Disney. He says they've lined the cast tunnels with signs and hand sanitizer dispensers. The sky is falling. How am I going to plug in my heat tool? Yeah, and they said, you know, buy board games. Okay, I have board games already. I have to buy them and uh, craft supplies because we're gonna be locked up in our homes, but they don't mention, right? When they're talking about this, if you work at home, that's great. I work, at, I work from home, Jimmy works from home now. Okay, we're good. What about the people that, that don't work from home? What about the people that can't work from home? What about the people that have restaurants and the people that have businesses and that these fear mongers are just saying, oh, just plan on a big, we're going to have a big quarantine, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it is. Yeah. How are these people going to earn the money to provide for their families? It's, it's ridiculous. What, what the things that are going on and the things that are being said. You know, and really, and now, you know, like to get the cash, get the cash out of the bank. If the family start playing board games. They pretend to be the desk and they say computer glitch, then they do. Oh, really, Carol? You woke up and caught your live. Hi, Geraldine. You're saying stuff I haven't heard. No Dollar Tree say it ain't so. I don't know, it's just, it's such fear mongering. How about the court system? Yeah. I mean, if these people who are claiming they are so intelligent that are saying this would even try and look at some of this stuff that they're saying, 
It doesn't make any sense. It's going to be a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, and, 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 and I guess, you know, I don't know, we should be carrying, we should be getting pelts and things to trade and barter, you know, oh, I have some pelts here, would you like those? And I have some gold bars. <laughs> They're causing unnecessary panic. The best scientists, the best biotech companies are working on therapeutics and a vaccine for months. There are clinical trials now. Hey, Carolina Creek Fox. Yes, I see you and I'm sorry about your mom. I just, careful, they're gonna open. Well, the prisons are, if we lose like uh, what they say, all of our, our, our electricity is not gonna work anymore because that's why we have to stockpile on the water. Because why, my, my well pump is not gonna work anymore. What, what's going on? Why am I stockpiling water? Why am I stockpiling water? Because we're going to lose electricity. Well, if you lose electricity and then our generators can't even work because we have no more gasoline to power them, then what? Then what? Then all the prisons eventually, they're going to be unable to keep the prisoners in because everything's, the security systems are going to go down. We're going to lose the internet. I guess so. That's what must be because we're not going to be able to do any online you know, paying for anything or banking or anything like that because we're being told to get our cash out of the bank. It's insanity. <laughs> Are your stores, I don't know, I haven't been buying board games because I have them. Get a hand, I know, right? I'll be like the um, Helen Keller or something with and Annie Sullivan with the, with, with the hand pump. What, what, what's going on? And then, and then what? Worse come to worse. I have mountain springs that we used to get water from in the summer that are so cold and so good. We used to, we used to get the bottled water from there, like all through, even when my first two kids were little, they used to love to go there. Those springs are still running. So what's going to happen? They're going to be contaminated because why? Nuclear fallout? What's going on? What is the reason that this is just, just so crazy? I have many bicycles here, right? We can bicycle with a cart. Uh, I have that. I have one of those rickshaw carts too. So I can get a horse, okay? And, and we can go off to the spring and take gallons and get spring water that the electricity is not going to affect that. So then what's the problem with that? Nuclear fallout now? Well, if that's the case, we're not gonna need much water because we won't be here much longer. It's just, it's insanity what is going on and what people are telling people, but they're not going to the doctor. That's dangerous. No one should be telling someone not to go to the doctor. You could say, if you're scared, call your doctor and ask them. That's the only person that should be giving out medical advice to these people, not someone on YouTube. Or saying something like, don't go to the doctor. It's 333. Oh my gosh. Just uh, when you think you hear everything, you hear more. Who cares? So what? Who cares? Yeah, Jeanette, it's it's scary. That's someone's own decision whether they're going to go to the doctor or not. If they're scared, they should call the doctor. Let their doctor tell them if their doctor's treating them for something, it should come from their doctor. Oh, don't come in. There's a real risk of you coming in. Let the doctor say that. Because everything will be shut down and you won't have to pay bills, right? 
you won't have any bills to pay. The electric company shutting down, everything is shutting down. There's nobody working. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Von Solo, you think that's what it is? It is getting crazy, isn't it? It is absolutely insane. You're going to grow corn in your front yard. <laughs> well, we're going into spring, Sharon, so it's a good thing, right? We should be starting our seeds right now. You know, and, and that's if the air is okay outside, Sharon. Do you think it's okay? Maybe we have to grow everything under grow lights. Oh, but we can't have grow lights because we'll have no electricity, right, Sharon? And how are we going to water everything, Sharon? We better get more gallons of water. Oh, my goodness. No public officials are saying don't go to the doctor. It's just alarmist, doomsday conspiracy. People just use common sense. The looting will follow. Yes, Diana, right, Diana? Oh my gosh. They said, you know, the it's an ongoing investigation, Trish. Oh, is it tomorrow, Two Scooter? Good luck on that colonoscopy, Two Scooter. Best of luck. But I need grow lights. Water reserves and generators. But the gasoline's gonna run out. Make sure you get enough gold bars. We'll put a well in. We're friends with the well digger. I believe there's a difference in the percentages of flu deaths and deaths from. All I own is a bottle of half-used Mod Podge. I'm really hoping there's a welcoming committee for her. Has made you rethink everything? It does, it, it definitely does, Carolina. I rethought a lot of things after my mother died a lot. Yeah, yes, I made some big changes after my mother died. It'll do that to you. You're at work, just dropping in. Hi, Olivia, the flower girl. Okay, let me, now that I feel better, um, who has extra money for the gold bars? What in the, I know that's what I'm saying with the gold bars. They think the world, like, who's coming to barter and trade with us? Like, they really act like the world is shutting down, that the world is going to come to a complete screeching halt. <laughs> you know, when the news is no longer on TV because they're not going into the station to broadcast, when you're seeing stuff like that, when the police are not doing their job because they're scared, like what do you have to do when you get pulled over by the police? Just start coughing and say, save yourself. It might be the coronavirus, right? What, you know how Tommy Boy did it with the bees and he was like, save yourself, bees, bees. And they're like, we don't really want to go in there. Maybe people are going to start doing that with the coronavirus to get out of tickets, right? you know, start hacking and then hacking all over the driver's license to try to give it to the officer. And the officer will be like, it's okay. It's all right. Just slow it down. All right. Well, schools are closing. People can't work because their kids are home. There's people wearing masks. Kids are scared. Okay. Schools are closing. That's a very minute set of schools that are closed. Um, and the ones that are closed, like in Rhode Island, are closed because there was a case in that school and it's got to be thoroughly cleaned and everything. 
Most schools are not closed in the United States, Penn. Okay. And you say people can't work because their kids are home. Well, again, that goes hand in hand with that most schools are not closed and most people that work outside the home are still working outside the home. And there's people wearing masks. Um, my daughter's in New York City and she says she does not see a lot of people in masks. And masks are not going to, did you hear what the experts are saying? That they're not going, they're not gonna be your protection. Your best protection is washing your hands, using common sense, not rubbing your eyes, your nose, your face, you know, covering your coughs and sneezes, stuff like that, normal precautions that you would take every day. You're in Wales, okay. Well, I think even the royal family is still making appearances, aren't they? Even if zombies were coming, you have a plan. Walking dead people, stupid if they can. You still have to go buy dog treats. Hand sanitizer is all sold out at the stores. The shelves are empty, but that's not true. Go to the Dollar Tree. There's hand sanitizer all over the place. It's available online as well. We had a case of meningitis in the school and the school was closed and thoroughly cleaned. There's a doctor that was diagnosed in Australia. He works in a Sydney hospital. You work in London, you live in London. You've not seen one mask. People still going to work on the tube. Yeah. My daughter, you know, they're, they're, disinf they're just, they're disinfecting the subways. Um, I think it's in, uh, 72 hour increments, like full disinfection of the sub subways and stuff. So they've amped, they've ramped up the um, disinfection of those services and all of that. So they're, they're doing more and, you know, people are going on and living their lives. Prince Charles was making appearances. Perhaps they are putting certain things on hold. To the elderly queen, Prince Philip, Diana says, in the morning to scooter, I hope so you don't have to starve all day. There have been 32 million cases of flu this year and 18,000 deaths, let that sink in. Absolutely. If there was a positive child in Rhode Island, I don't think it's a child. They said there was, it was, a, um, it was an adult in the school system is what I believe because Dorothy, they said on the news tonight that there hasn't been a child that has it and, and especially a child the age of nine and under, which make them think that either children are immune to it or children get such light symptoms, it's just taken as a cold like that, which they said is very good, very good news. Rubbing alcohol will do the trick. Absolutely, Stephanie, I just told someone that today. I don't use Lysol and I don't use chlorine bleach not since my son was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I do not use those caustic cancer-causing chemicals in my home. Read the back of a Lysol can. No, you will not find that in my home, but I still disinfect my home. I use natural disinfectants, one that have natural disinfectants in them like melaleuca oil. I use alcohol. If I have to like clean my phone screen or something, I'll just use plain alcohol. There's other ways to disinfect things. Good old soap, okay, will wash your hands. Um, just do it long enough. Sing the ABCs, the happy birthday song. Both in their 70s and they're still doing well.
a lady in the aisle said there's no food here. I'm like, huh, what is all this I'm seeing? Yeah, I don't know. People are trying. Vinegar is good. You know, I mean, just try to calm the hysteria because some people I think are getting like a kick out of this. Children are not as bad. I'm so sorry about your beautiful son. No, it's not leukemia, Judy. It was not leukemia. It was Hodgkin's lymphoma. And knock on wood, that was in 2011. And so where are we now? Nine years. It's one of the most curable cancers there is. And um, in fact, the doctor told me not to even call it cancer, to call it Hodgkin's disease. And that, um, you know, he didn't even have to have, we had prophylactic radiation for him for 17 days, but uh, then, you know, he did, it, he wouldn't even have, you know, that was not even a rec, you know, a, oh my gosh, a recommended course of treatment. But I asked the doctor what he would do if it was his son. And he said he would go ahead with the, um, the radiation for 17 days to that area where the surgery was. And that's what we did. But I will not use cleaners like that in the home again because we had no, no history or anything. And so, yeah, I, I used to use cleaners like that and I will not use them anymore. It's going to get worse before better than the vaccine will be ready. It's not like Ebola exactly. I know people are acting like, you know, most people will get this and be treated and be fine. Non Hodgkins is the serious one. That sounds like Larry David, right? I thought he had the good Hodgkins. How did he die? I thought he had the good Hodgkins. My son and I, just because of the kind of people we are, we were um, joking around about that as we went down for his first oncologist appointment. Because that's, that's what, you know, that's us. Thought he had the good Hodgkins. Media thrive on this. They do, Judy. Just think back, guys. When there's a hurricane coming, think about the hurricane coverage and how it's gotten earlier and earlier and earlier, right? Now it's like, it's crazy. It's like a month before the hurricane and they're freaking out. They're in the the, par the parking lots of the supermarkets. Did you, what did you buy, ma'am? What is in your car? Did you get water? Oh my goodness. Now that's where they're going to probably lose power. And they're going to not be able to flush toilets and all of that stuff. But they hype that up to the hilt, right? They start that earlier and earlier. It's on everything. What is going on on the news Every newscast, right, is talking about this. Why is YouTube demonetizing the channels that are centered around this stuff? Do you know why they're demonetizing that? Because of the fear mongering. Because they know if it was monetized, that people are using it and, and misleading people. That's why. I know Judy says, I know, right? Carolyn, crazy. Be real. We have supplies here. Yeah. So we can keep talking about true crime. We don't have to go into crazy zone. What is Diana saying with the microwave? Mm. 
What did Diana say with the microwave? Carolyn, do you use a microwave? Yes, I use a microwave. I don't just, I don't cook in it, like, you know, cook, cook in it. My microwave is a convection oven and a microwave. So it's a dual, it's a regular convection oven and a microwave. Um, if I use a microwave, it's reheating something, you know, quickly, but we cook on the stove in the regular oven. I'm not one of those that uses it a lot for, for cooking purposes. Just practice good hygiene and pray for the world. Absolutely, Lotha. Oh, did they really, Sandra? Oh, no. Okay, so let me look at, uh, there were a couple of things. Um, they wanted me to put a link in the chat here. So hold on a second. Let me just go because we're on Zoom and we're okay. So, okay, I'm just going to put this link here. Sunflower Brown says, this is the church that set up a fund for the Stock family. I just know about this through Sunflower who lives in Colorado. And she says, where it says fund, you click on the arrow and you choose Gannon Stock. Okay. And so that's all I know about this fund, but I'll put it in there for you guys. Okay. And then I'm going to go see Angel Callie said there's some type of a letter. Um, I've got to get to Slack. And I'm behind on my emails. So if you've emailed me recently, I'm very, very, very behind on them. And I don't know where Angel Callie put the letter. Does anybody know where Angel Callie put this letter? Okay, Angel Callie, where did you put the letter, Angel Callie? Um, oh, okay. Can I, I'll just read it, okay? Because you want me to post it, but I'm not, uh, okay, I'll read it. Because I, can, I, I don't know how I would post this because it's not like a document. So I'm just gonna read it, Angel Callie. It says, hi, Carolyn and Ramblers. A lot of things have been going on. I really miss you guys. My brother, as of today, his leg isn't healing. We think another trip to the hospital. My mom has had her problems too. I fell out of bed and hurt myself. My little Molly, that's her little dog, has been very sick. It's day by day with her. Oh no. I'm hoping I don't have to bring her back to the vet. Her tummy has been bad and she's been throwing up. They said to watch all of this. Plus her tummy has been bad in the past, so it's hard to tell. I feel like I'm a nervous wreck worrying about everything. I don't know what I will do without her. She's my only reason to get up anymore. Life just isn't fun right now. And I'm so sorry I haven't been on. I do watch all of Carolyn's lives every day or every night or day. I felt like a burden to everyone and didn't want to complain about my situation. I wanted everyone to believe me. Sometimes I thought it wasn't real. YouTube is so crazy now and it's hard to trust anyone. I can tell you all that it's totally real. I wanted to thank some of you guys for keeping in touch with me and sending me your kind words and prayers. You know who you guys are. I didn't know if I should say your names. Carolyn has always been very kind to me. One of my favorite weeks was being a moderator. It made me feel special. How funny is that? Something so small. It's important to be kind and caring to people. You never know what's going on in someone's life. I'm going to try to be back on every night if everything is okay. Please pray for my family and Molly. I also wanted to know if someone could help me set up a GoFundMe page. My cousin said he did for his dog. I really don't know anything about it. I'm not the best in writing or grammar. Please share this with Carolyn and all the Ramblers. Let me know if you get the pictures and post on Facebook. 
I thought that would be easier. Let me know if you got the pictures and post on Facebook. I thought that would be easier. Not sure what you mean about that, but Angel Kelly, I'm so sorry all of that's happening. I will be praying for you, your dog, your mother, your brother, and you. And um, you say Molly is home now. They diagnosed her with pulmonary hypertension, tricuspid regurgitation, history of collapsing trachea with underlying airway disease. They have her... Uh, and then you have a picture of her poor little thing. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I will be praying Angel Callie and I'm sure everyone else will in the prayer group and, and everyone that's listening will um, reach out and say a prayer, a good thought, something for you. And I'm glad you'll be back and um, hope that everything can go and maybe someone will be able to help you. Let me see what that GoFundMe page and um, I think some people are saying some stuff. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, right, Bella Max says you're no burden, no burden. No, and when and, and if you want to be a line leader for a week again, Angel Kelly, we'll let you. We'll let you be. We'll let you cut the line and be a line leader. No worries. That's a little thing if that makes you feel a little better than and good. And um, if anybody can help Angel Callie with that GoFundMe, please let her know. Alicia. I think you'd probably be off with better off, um, Angel Kelly. I know a page you think you can reach more people. I mean, for people that want to donate, you're better off getting friends and family PayPal because you'll get it all and they won't take any cut of it. You know, I don't know, but. Just go find me, take a cut. They do, they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Does she have Venmo or PayPal? I don't know if you're on Angel Kelly, do you have Venmo or PayPal? How to make a mask from a bra? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> yes, Anne, a very tragic day, yes. You didn't know they take a cut? Yeah, they take a cut. Oh, let me tell you something else. Let me tell you something else about another I don't know if you want to call it, it's not a scam per se, but it's misleading. Okay, I got a letter the other day that I had unclaimed funds, right? But the letter wasn't from New York State. The letter was from some company, I believe it was Fletcher. And this company makes it sound like 
it's New York State telling me about my unclaimed funds. And it asks me to fill out this form and get it notarized. And then as you look further, it says I authorize Fletcher Company to take, I think it was 15%, to take 15% of my unclaimed funds um, as a fee for, for, for doing all of this. What they are, they're a company, right? So they must look in each state and get the information of people that have unclaimed funds. And then they, they, they print out the form just like you would online, okay? And they send it to you. And they count on people sending it back and checking that this company will get 15% of whatever you're getting. So just know when you get that letter, you can just go online to your state because it even tells you um, who, you know, where you have the unclaimed fund from, okay? So for instance, mine was Toyota, okay? I don't know why, I don't know what it, but it said Toyota. And so I went there and just to New York State, I put in my name, I printed out my own form, which I can fill out and have notarized and send back in and nobody has to get a cut of it. So just realize if you're getting one of those letters, you can go ahead and do that and whatever it is, not have to pay someone 15%, you know, it was, it, it may be good that they key you in that you have something, but it's not really a scam, Vivian. It's not really a scam because they're telling you the truth that you have an unclaimed fund. They have printed out the forms for you, but they have altered the form and it says that you agree that this company will get 15% of that. So it's not really a scam, but you might not be aware you can do it yourself. Mary says, Angel Callie can Google, how do I set up a PayPal account? She will walk through how to do it. It's pretty easy. She has to have a bank account. Oh, you're welcome, Janelle. Did somebody just say? Carolyn, how come you so often look like you're talking to your right? <laughs> no, my, um, because here when I'm looking, I am fro I'm delayed. I can't look here or I go crazy. There, my, there I have my, um, display on this monitor that you see me, you say I look, I'm looking towards my right. Um, that's because that monitor is showing me the real time, the real time display. Over here, I'm on like, I don't know, like a minute delay. And it, I cannot, if you've never tried to look at yourself during a delay, it freaks you out. Because I, I can't even explain it to you. That's why I'm looking to my right. I can't look at the delay, sorry. And when I do the Zoom like this, my chat is over here too. My chat is normally over here. Indiana, unclaimed, your husband and I both have money, I need to get it. <laughs> yeah, it's easy too, it's easy. It may only be a little bit, it could be a few hundred dollars, it could be more. I don't even know how many death certificates to get yet. Listen, 
if you want to say that it shows much love. Oh, Carolina, yeah. Yeah, do you, do you have an attorney or anything that handles um, that? Let's see, where my brother um, is a wills, estates, and trust, and corporate trust attorney. So he thankfully always handled that. Um, but there are attorneys, you know, obviously that will help you with that. Maybe even one um, can give you a free consultation or something. Oh, Sharon says 10 copies. Oh yeah, Ivy Lynn, I've owned I own a Toyota now. I've owned a lot of Toyotas, yes. I own one, I own one now. Jimmy used to have um one as well. So did my daughter that I, you know, that I bought. Um, yeah. Yippers. Yippers. A friend of yours got over a thousand back. Might have been some kind of class action lawsuit with them or something. I don't know. Good night, Janelle. Thank you. You had a recall on your Jeep. Ugh. Danielle, see what? What do we quick? I don't know what the quick delete is. What happened? I missed that, you guys. What was two? What was a good catch from two scooter? I missed it. What did I miss? I don't like missing stuff like that. What was it that I missed? Hi, Lisa D, how are you? Lisa sent me pictures. She thought she found the gnome. What? Carol Boyce, someone wanted the original copy and say, what did two scooter know? It's at Gmail. What happened? What happened, you guys? I missed it. Danielle made a typo. You'll have to delete your live. Oh, oh. She made a typo. Okay. Uh oh. What happened? Oh my mother, that was scary. I thought we lost it again. My thing just went flying up. Flying up. Um Oh, are you kidding me? I'm just looking at something about something has me in a mix. What the heck is a mix? A mix. 
I don't know what that's about. I'm just looking at this thing here. It says mix, M-I-X dash mommy ramblings blog. And it's this video or one of the videos. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just trying to see what this is. I don't get it really. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Good night, Vivian. How are, good night, good night, good night, good night. You feel like when they asked me if I traveled outside of US, tell them China and Iran just to see what they do. Oh my gosh, I and videotape it. Sometimes I come in here random to just randomly chat, I get lonely. Everyone is so busy now. Everyone's so busy now, Lufa. I always think of a big Lufa when I hear your name. See your name, I'm sorry. So sorry, you're not annoying at all. Uh, Valerie, yeah, we were, we were talking about her in the first video. We had a lot of technical problems, Valerie. If you go to the first video for tonight, we talked about that case at the most there. We talked about it uh, a little bit here, um, but what's going on, you know, she was arrested today, uh, actually, you know, yesterday, but it's still my today, March 2nd in South Carolina without incident. And they're not releasing any information about the arrest other than that, because the arrest affidavit is still sealed. And there was a press conference in which the parents spoke. It was highly emotional. Watch the rerun. Watch the first one, Diana. Watch the first one. There's also a, a uploaded video about it if you want to watch that one. It's also that one. If you watch the uploaded video first, Diana, the one that I did this afternoon, the one that's not alive, that will give you a lot of information. You know, that, that link for that video. Hold on, I'll give it to you. I'll throw the link in there for anybody that needs that. This one here, that's the, that's the first one you should go to, whoever missed it. Hi, Eva, how are you? It's been a long time. I hope you're okay too. And then after that one, um, you should go to Is this our first one? This is, I think this is our first one. Um, let me see. Oh my goodness, yeah. Crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six videos tonight. Um, lives. Because of all the craziness. But this would be the other video, Diana, I'm going to throw that in.
I'm just I'm just adding something to the comment because otherwise people get confused here. So this will be easier for people. It's nice to make things easier for people, right? There, now I can uh, put that in every video later. Okay. All right, where's the chat now? Let's go back. Chat now. That's not the chat. I don't know where you guys are. I lost you. Hmm. I've totally lost all of you. Oh, here you are. Oh my gosh. I love napkins and I cannot lie. Pull off and use, you stamp the back of Really? You stamp those? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Good, good idea. Sometimes I saw there was another um, blogger that blogger blogger that you see how like some of them and, and only some of them have this where it's actually you can see you probably can't see on here, but um, you can see printing. That's the second layer. And some have even, you know, more than that. There was some blogger that took that very lightly printed layer and used it um, to make a tray and it gave it a really for like these three things she put on it and it, it gave it a really nice look so she even used that Jeanette yes and Carolyn hasn't seen my comment yet uh, Rhonda let's see what Rhonda said Rhonda said Rhonda said Carolyn did you see what I said by chance she literally said that went on panel, the aunt did. Uh, hey, Carolyn, Marie, who is Gannon's great aunt on Landon's side said that Marie Antoinette was a sister of T talking in the chat. Did you hear that? Hey, Carolyn, Marie, who is Gannon's great aunt on Landon's side said that Marie Antoinette was a sister of T talking in this chat. Did you hear that? I highly doubt that because I know who Marie Antoinette is and I've spoken to her on the phone with her real number. So I highly doubt that, highly. I know who Marie Antoinette is. I know her, um, I know her number. I've spoken to her on the phone. And I know all of I I don't know who said that. I don't know I don't know who would say that. Oh yeah, new if you bear. Oh, I understand. I, I don't on what panel? I don't know. I don't know what panel. Rhonda, if you want to email me about it, because I'm not sure what panel. I don't know what panel, but I know that I've um she spoke it, she didn't type it. 
I, I've spoken to the person that had the screen name Marie Antoinette and I have her contact information. You're 31 weeks, wow, Eva, wow. Yeah, no, I don't think you're trying to stir anything, Rhonda. I just think, um, I don't, I don't know who said it. Uh, Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe let me know who said that because I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, Antoinette is the name of one. Yeah, but her name was Marie Antoinette. The screen name was Marie Antoinette, but it had nothing to do with her real name. Okay, email me, Rhonda, yeah. Good night, Sharon. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind the both of you. Marie Antoinette wanted everyone to eat cake. Yeah, how can she, you know, anybody that wants somebody to eat cake? She's the aunt of Landon. Okay, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was on here, Diana. She's saying she heard it somewhere else. Very nice job on the bicycle. Thank you, Carol boys. Isn't it pretty? I have to, I have to do something on the, ouch. I'm going to probably do something on the sides of it here, like put, I have this, this decorative thing to put on there and then I've got to do the rest of the box with something probably like flowers. This is just the box top. But I put it up there because I'm working on it. I'm working on something really fun now. I'll show it to you before we go. I'll show it to you before we go. And you'll like it because, um, oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. And see, I'm going to show you again something that's brand new at the Dollar Tree, and it won't be there the next time I go back. Remember this, um, this like uh, ribbon I showed you? It's like, what is it called? Burlap kind of ribbon. Um, yeah, burlap ribbon comes in a couple of di three different kinds, I think. Well, I bought this kind. I want to use this also for the middle of drawers instead of using the clay. I still want to use clay too, but I wanted something I could use immediately. Well, look at this. This is just a Barilla, a Barilla spaghetti sauce jar. Just a plain jar that I painted with and just an ivory chalk paint, okay? I sponged it on. So it kind of has like a little bit of a texture. It's not completely smooth. And then I'm going to put an Easter design on it and make it a vase, but and I'm gonna use one of my bunnies, but instead of wrapping jute around the top, if you put this, look how nice and easy this is, instead of wrapping and look how nice it looks. You can't see because it's so bright, hold on. 
I'll show, I'll put it on and show it to you. Hold on. I'll try to pull it back. I'll pull it back. I really need to get something dark behind it. Um, hold on. Maybe against my shirt. I don't know. Let me see. Sometimes if I put it right, hold on a minute. It's because it's white. It's because the bottle is so freaking white. Let me try to do this. Hold on. I, it looks really nice um, without having to wrap the jute and it, it looks really nice like that. But I'll show it to you in another video because I, I am doing a video of this whole process. That's why I'm not going to do it tonight. I mean, I'm gonna, I have the video of uh, painting it, but this is just a Barilla spaghetti sauce jar. And it's going to make a really nice um, vase with a really cute bunny on it and flowers. So I will show it to you. But it's just, it's this. It's this ribbon. You see this ribbon now? You can see it, see? And there's also another another one. I bought two of them. Now I know when I go back, they're not going to have it. You need a tennis ball that hangs for your focus spot. But, but it's good because you're here now. What happened? I don't know what's going on. But, um, Tanya, Renee, I saw you. It's a great idea with the spaghetti jar. Yeah. I just, I made something else with the blue napkin too. I made one of the, um, the clipboard picture frame things, which I'll, I'll show you too. And uh, what else did I do? I finished, hold on a minute. I did the underside of this egg to make it kind of like one of those old fashioned cardboard or, or egg tins kind of. It opens up. It's, you know, I want to. That just made me think of a legs egg. Remember the legs, the legs eggs? That would be something a lot of crafters would use if they still came in eggs. And so that one, and what else? Um, Clipboards in the other room. I, it's it's drying. I'm going I'm going to film finish the tutorial on this one and let you see it. That's nice. Did you love the egg? Yeah. What else did I do? That I think. Um, I think that's all. I I did the that finished the blue clipboard thing while we were watching that love is blind and I was working on this a little bit while we're watching the love is blind um, I've got I've got a lot of projects I get to get on it's like a it's like a craft store exploded in here the legs eggs remember the legs eggs an intermittent swooshing sound, Julianne. It might be me. It's probably me doing this. Is it that? I, I, you know what I heard tonight? My daughter's here. She's, she's here for a few days. Because I told you she, she didn't come back in January and she didn't come back in February to visit. She normally comes every month. And so she's coming now. Well, she came back in February, but it's the end. And so she's staying for a few days, but she's using a uh, pin loom. She's making a blanket from a pin loom. I told her she should take a video of it. She's, I, I'll take a video of what she's got done or something, I don't know. But I go to her, what the heck is that sound? It sounds like someone's vaping. And that's exact when she pulls this yarn through this pin loom, it sounds like someone's vaping. It was driving me nuts and she didn't know what I meant. And then she did. 
how far did we get in Love is Blind? Um, we got to where Carlton, well, I saw where Carlton told the girl that about his past, right? Um, and then she got mad. That's where we were. And the couples were discussing, you know, like the one, what is her name? Jessica saying that she, her guy is not really her type, but you know, she was happy. We were like right there, right about there. Good night, dear flower girl, Phillips. Are you watching that too, Ivy Lynn? Are you watching that? What's the I missed I missed the name I, I Eva I'll have to go back and check it out. Oh, you're having a boy, Vincent. You're scouring for empty jars tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted. And uh, I will, Carlton, Jessica is a messica. <laughs> That's a good one. You watched it last week? You watched it all? I'll probably, we'll probably have it all done by tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you for coming. Thanks for putting up with the tremendous uh, technical craziness. Um, but anyway, we'll see you. Prayers for all that need them. God bless. Love you guys. Um, thank you to the moderators. See you tomorrow. God willing and take it easy. Be kind, be good. And um, Angel Kelly, if you need, uh, if you can't get someone to volunteer to help you, I'll, I'll try to help you with what you need. All right, everybody take care. Let me see. And that.